Hello Aquarius, this is Renee and welcome back. As I was meditating on your energy, I felt happiness, imagination. I felt like you were opening up to some kind of new idea, some kind of new ability. Maybe you're learning something new. Maybe you're touching on some kind of new skill that you have. Some kind of new ability. But I feel like this is a very happy time for you, Aquarius. I feel like you are trusting the process, trusting the path that you're being led on. Okay? Aquarius, this is going to be your next 48 hours. What is coming forward for you? What is coming up next in the next 48 hours? This is a timeless reading. So this reading, uh, when you see it, is when you're meant to view it. And that would be your 48 hour period. Let's get some energy for Aquarius. The next 48 hours, please. Give me a message for Aquarius the next 48 hours. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. Hmm, the World card. The Fool, wow. Temperance, a lot of major arcana here. I feel like this is a very strong message. Something is definitely happening within the next 48 hours. And I feel like it's <laughs> pretty strong. Uh, the King of Wands and the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Okay. At the bottom, we have the Ten of Wands. So I feel like there's a lot of priorities that you're carrying. I feel like you have to wear a lot of hats. You have to have a lot of skill and ability to do what it is that you do. Um, but I feel like with this Knight of Wands, the next 48 hours, I'm really getting the message that you are focusing on yourself. You're focusing on some kind of new adventure. Some kind of new ability that you have. And you may be traveling within the next 48 hours. You may be on a different destination. You may be traveling across the country or around the world. Um, I also feel like this is a completion. You've completed some sort of lesson and now you're on this new journey. It's so interesting that the world is followed by the fool. Because the world is some kind of completion. Some kind of test or obstacle challenge that you have totally been through. And you've learned the lesson from it. You're able to put it behind you in that cycle and move on to something totally new. Something totally new and take some kind of inspired action with the lessons that you've learned. Okay? Um, <laughs> I'm feeling a lot for this 48 hours. This is just amazing, Aquarius. Beautiful energy. Um, in the temperance card, we see her looking for balance, finding balance as she pours the, the, the liquid from one bottle to another. She's like finding the balance, finding some kind of recovery. We see the sun going up in the distance or the sun setting. So I feel like. I feel like the sun is high in your new journey, but it's like settling down to find its ground. Hmm. With this new adventure, Aquarius, I feel like you're you're finding some kind of balance in your situation. Um, I almost feel like you are anticipating this new journey because it's bringing you so much happiness, awareness. 
um, with the High Priestess and the King of Wands, I feel like you're trusting in the actions that you're taking. Someone is putting a lot of trust in you as well, Aquarius. I feel like you're you're not only taking action, but I feel like you're leading. So you may be taking action for more than just yourself. You might be taking action for the people that you're responsible for. Maybe a family, maybe children. Um, but I feel like you're being led to do something totally different. Something totally out of the box. But something that you have a lot of fire. Um, something that you have a lot of passion for. I feel like you could be changing jobs. You could be changing locations. Taking a job out of town in a new city. Uh, because I feel like you are kind of reluctant to leave behind what you have because you're moving into this you're leaving these things behind maybe leaving friends or family to go on this new journey new destination hmm. tell me more about this reading spirit give me more messages for Aquarius in this new reading. Give me more messages. Give me more messages, please. I feel like whatever this is that you're sharing with others I feel like it's really hard for you to leave behind. It's hard for you to let go of. Um, tell me more about this. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. Okay, you have doubts. You have fears that it's done. There's something lingering underneath to where... Something that you're sharing, you have to let go of or you have to leave in order to go on this new journey. But I feel like you're you're kind of grieving this departure. There's a lot of grief that this is over. But I feel like you're following some sort of passion, some kind of interest that you truly care about. I feel like this passion or this interest is destined for you. But you still feel like it's so hard to say goodbye to this. It's so hard to leave it behind. Give me more of a message, please. Tell me more about this situation. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be very missed. I feel like it's very hard for you to walk away. It's, it's, it's a heavy, it's a heaviness having to walk away from the situation. But I feel like it's for... I feel like you, you're you pursuing something that would be so much better in the future. But it's just so hard for you to walk away. It's so hard for you to leave these things behind. Hmm. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles that wanted to fall out. I feel like you're pursuing a desire, but I feel like this desire is going to take you away from home, 
for quite a long time. Maybe you're leaving for college. Maybe you're leaving for some kind of internship or maybe you're even going around the world to become some kind of missionary or some kind of intern. Um, but I, I feel like this is something that you're going to be gone for a long period. And it's leaving you very sad and very uh, withdrawn. But you're happy and excited all at the same time. And it's almost making you not want to leave. You're almost deciding not to go with whatever this passion is. You're having second thoughts. You're having these secondary thoughts. What if this goes wrong? What if that goes wrong? What if, you know, I don't return on time? Or what if I, you know, find something different and I don't see them? And what if I can't see them face to face? Is what I'm getting. Hmm. But I feel like you will. You will, Aquarius. Whoever this is that you're having to leave behind, I feel like they're, they're very proud. They're remembering. They're holding you up. They're giving you your praise, your reward. You know, they're focused on you. So I feel like all these internal fears are, you know, nothing really to worry about because... The people that you have to leave behind to pursue your dreams are still focused on you. They're focused on you, whoever this is. Okay? But they're ready for you to put in a good fight, to um, be that builder, that leader, take initiative. You know, be ready for a challenge. We're going from the six to the five, you know, five and six of wands. They see you. They recognize you. After this battle, after this battle you'll be lifted up, you know. Um, <laughs> beautiful. I feel like you have a lot of support. You have a lot of healing to do. Um, because I feel like whatever this is for you to do, I feel like it's very hard. But Spirit is letting you know to have faith. This is your wish. This is your wish. It's something that you wanted for a very long time finally coming true. Take advantage. Take notice. And pursue your dreams. This is your miracle that's unfolding. Okay? Um, some kind of miracle is happening for you to have faith you are the spotlight okay Aquarius you have the strength and the ability so spirit wants you to know to be strong to be aware to um, find your inner strength and have focus courage be fearless because you will succeed. You have success. Beautiful energy, Aquarius. Let's get some angel cards. Excuse me. Let's get some oracle cards for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know, please? The next 48 hours. Your next 40 hours seems very intense, actually. I feel like there's a lot of news coming in. I feel like you... <laughs> th there's a lot of happiness and enjoyment. A lot of fire. Um, but I feel like in the back of your mind, you just have all these fears, Aquarius. But your fears are... There's nothing to fear. Pursue your dreams. Pursue your goals you know gain your success okay yeah we have abundance for Aquarius you have an abundance of love support money it's up to you 
Okay, so I feel like spirit wants you to know it's up to you. Remain positive. Have a positive outlook. Things are really looking up for you. Things are going very well. So I feel like spirit really wants you to know that, you know, you have the support. You have the guidance. Okay, we have the voice of truth. Stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. I feel like spirit wants you to pursue what you are led to pursue. You know, you also have a call to action. Take charge. Lead by example. Walk your talk. Okay? So, Aquarius, this is a quick message. But I feel like this is a much needed message. And Spirit wants to, you to know that you are protected. You are guided to get up and lead. Okay? So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. Um, I have all the March... First through the 15th readings uploaded. So take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity uh, for March. And Aquarius. Until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.